Hi, I'm TJ Frazier with Professional Surveyor Magazine, and this week we're in Orlando for the Hexagon 2011 conference. And right now we're with Ron Roth, who is with Leica Geosystems. Ron, what is your title and your role with Leica Geosystems? Well, I'm the Vice President of Airborne LiDAR for our Geospatial Solutions Division, and I'm one of two Vice Presidents. The other is uh, Rudy Wagner, who's responsible for our airborne imaging products. I'm responsible for airborne LiDAR. Okay. Uh, so what's going on with Airborne LiDAR? Do you have a uh, favorite product or...? Oh, I definitely have a favorite product. My uh, uh, product line, the ALS product line, is just uh, ready to introduce a new system, the ALS-70, and it's available in three different sub-models for low, medium, and high altitude mapping, and it uh, offers a two-and-a-half-fold uh, improvement over productivity from the previous generation of systems. So this, this uh, contributes to our long-term maintenance of the product line and contributes to a long-term trend of LiDAR systems doubling in their productivity about every two years. Wow. So significant steps as you go. Absolutely. And we've been able to keep the parts that were working really well in the previous generation of product and yet take other parts of it and substantially improve the performance and the productivity of those. Okay, good. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you earlier today, uh, we, we had some, some time with, uh, with Ula, uh, the head of Hex Hexagon, and uh, he mentioned uh, talking about UAVs and, and smaller format cameras and that that's something that you guys are working on. Um, how do you see that, uh, UAVs and the smaller format cameras? Do you see them as something of a, a threat being uh, heavily staked in the aerial mapping? Or do you see that as a market opportunity for growth? Actually, it's a tremendous market opportunity. Uh, for the moment, I don't think you'll ever see large-scale uh, imaging systems in UAVs. That would be very difficult to uh, do from a size and weight standpoint. But yet with these smaller cameras like our new RC-30, uh, you can offer a 60 megapixel uh, user-friendly format. It's very compact and can, can fit in even fairly small UAVs. Uh, from the standpoint of its competition with LiDAR, it's actually uh, of a benefit to me as a LiDAR product manager uh, because it offers me a high-performance imaging solution at a very compact size, and literally 50% of the market for these medium format camera systems is typically for installations on our airborne LiDAR systems. Great. Okay. Sounds like some exciting things going on. Some terrific stuff going on. Okay. We well, appreciate your time, Ron. All right. Thanks very much. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Thanks.